Welcome to Electro Online. So now that we have pretty good control over the exterior angle theorem for triangles, let's solve some additional problems. Now, not all of these are going to need that theorem. Some of them may, some of them may not. But let's take a look here. Well, here we're given a triangle, and we're given the three angles of 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and x degrees. And we're trying to find the value for x. So here we can say that the sum of the triangle, the sum of the measure of the angles must add up to 180 degrees, which means that 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus x degrees must add up to 180 degrees. So if we subtract, well, we can first add these two, so we can say 120 degrees plus x degrees equals 180 degrees. Subtract 120 from both sides, x degrees equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, or x degrees equals 60 degrees. In other words, x equal, equals 60. All right. On the second one, we can use the same principle. We can sum up the measures of all three angles and it should add up to 180 degrees. So x degrees plus 3x degrees plus 60 degrees equals to 180 degrees. So here we can see that 4x degrees and if you want to put parentheses around it like that, you realize that it's the whole thing, 2 degrees, equals 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. So I added these two terms together, and I subtracted 6 degrees from both sides. So 4x degrees equals 120 degrees. So now we can say that x degrees equals 120 degrees divided by 4. And, hmm... In that case, you know what? Maybe I don't need the parentheses. Does that make sense? Let's see here. X degrees, three times X degrees. I guess we can do it like that. We don't need the parentheses. That might even be better. And then we simply divide both sides by four and we get X degrees is equal to 30 degrees. So here you can see that X equals 30. All right. And finally, uh, let's see if that's correct. So three times 30 is 90 plus 60. That would be 150 plus 30 is 180, so that does check up. All right, last one. Here we will need to use the exterior angle theorem. We were told that the, ex the value or the measure of the exterior angle must equal the sum of the measures of the two angles, the two interior angles that are not adjacent to the exterior angle. So therefore we can say that x degrees must equal 70 degrees plus 64 degrees in other words, x degrees is equal to 134 degrees, or x equals 134. There we go. That is how we find the value for x in each of the three cases. In the first two, we didn't have to use the exterior angle theorem. We could just use the, the postulate that the sum of all three angles must add up to 180 degrees. And in this case, we had the handy theorem available to quickly find the value for the exterior angle. And that is how it's done.